The recent murder of a JSO police dog has led some to call for stronger punishment for those who kill canine officers. A bill introduced by Senator Aaron Bean would triple the maximum prison sentence. A companion bill is expected to be filed in the Florida House soon. Give, give you some background here. You may remember Fang was shot and killed in September while chasing a suspected carjacker. He is now the inspiration for the new bill, which would make the maximum sentence for harming a canine up to 15 years. Senator Aaron Bean is joining us this morning to discuss this bill. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Jennifer I appreciate Wah. it. What a pleasure it is to be here. <laughs> so it's interesting because I saw you when you came here, when you initially met with, of course, Debbie Johnson with Canines United, who, who, who started this online pet petition, and then you heard about it, and now we've got this bill. What specifically is in it? Well, right now, uh, first of all, uh, kudos to uh, to you and uh, the uh, the success of, of the uh, this bill just going viral. Uh, of everybody wants to join in. It started right. Canines United. Debbie Johnson said uh, we need to stand with law enforcement, stand with uh, with Fang. Uh, currently, right now, for killing a canine officer or a police horse, it's a third degree felony and uh, has a maximum jail time of up to five years. This proposal would take that up to a second degree felony and uh, somebody could serve up to 15 years. What kind of reaction are you getting? Let's start, start first from, you mentioned you saw the mayor last night. Uh, he's on board as well. What kind of reaction are you getting from the community? Sheriff Williams also is on board. Uh, overwhelming. It, it's amazing. Uh, on your website, this story has been shared over 14,000 <gasps> times. Uh, people have reached out to me uh, saying we want to be a part. Let's stand with... Uh, with law enforcement. That's the message that we're sending with this bill. And it's interesting because you mentioned that the people who are reaching out to you are actually other lawmakers who want to, you know, basically support this other than, of course, you know, um, Josie, uh, you know, Tom Cow, who reached out to you and said, hey, I want to go ahead and submit a companion bill. That hasn't happened yet, but she promises that it will. Right. We also got reached out. Uh, somebody called me from the Seventh Circuit, Judicial Circuit, a, a prosecutor down there, uh, talked about a case where, uh, other facts uh, kind of fell through, and the only thing they got him on was killing a canine, and uh, they would have loved to put that person in jail longer, but because the, the statue is what it is, they didn't have a, an option. This will hopefully give options to other other prosecutors around the state. And I think that what's important to mention here is, 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 is sometimes I think members of the public who are not in law enforcement, they look at a police officer and then they look at a canine, and they don't realize that that canine uh, basically can very frequently and very often saves the life of a police officer, married officer maybe, with children, and the importance of that dynamic and relationship between them and holding then suspects responsible should they endanger a police officer's life because a canine is an officer. Absolutely, absolutely. And anybody that would murder a canine unit is a bad person and needs to uh, be held accountable. And that's what this bill does. So what happens now? What, what, what do we expect? So uh, it's been filed officially in the Senate. Uh, next week it'll be filed officially in the House of Representatives. In two weeks, our committees will start for the new legislature. Uh, it'll get assigned committees. I've worked with uh, or talking with uh, with K-9 uh, United, Debbie Johnson, who uh, and as well as uh, others around the state that want to bring a K-9 unit to, to testify and tell the story, maybe the story of Fang as well with Officer Herrera, who's also suffered a loss with, with his with his uh, with his oh, partner, thing, yeah. the legislative session uh, begins officially in March. But hopefully by then we'll we'll have this bill teed up so where we could bring it home for uh, for the governor's signature. Yeah, and if it's approved, then it would go into effect in October of next year. It would. Senator Bean, thank you very much for being here. Do appreciate it.